I'm from the planet Gallifrey and the constellation of Castabras. I am the oncoming storm. And welcome back to my World of Tanks replays. Uh, here we are um, in a tier 7 match. I'm in my German tier 7 tank destroyer. Um, the I can, I can, the Panzer SFL5. Um, the one up from the Nashorn. The one below the uh, uh, Rimi Boris Waffen tractor, whatever it's called. The Rim Job Waffle tractor. Um, this is uh, that was a great shot. <laughs> Set him on fire, killed him. One shot kill. Excellent. But um, I don't like this tank generally. Um, I literally only have it until I can get the. Uh, oh, another great shot into that KV one there. Literally only have it until I could get the uh, the Waffen tractor, the the rim job as I uh, so called it earlier. I've now got that, and so it's unlikely you'll see any more videos starring this tank. But um. But this is a particularly good match I had in it. Um, I stay behind this uh, bush for more or less the entire game. Uh, if you look on chat there, our GW Panther is saying boom because he just made an amazing shot a second ago. Um, one shot killed, I think it was a KV-1S. And just absolutely epic shot. And he's shown off, and I don't blame him because it was a particularly good shot. But um, this just shows you um, what good passive scouting can do. I remain undetected for almost all of this match. I just stay behind this bush, and there are other bushes between me and the enemy, and they just don't see me. That means every time someone goes forward and passively scouts, i.e. hiding behind cover, but um, not firing their gun, Someone on the enemy team gets lit up like that, and I manage to be able to take a, a shot like this without being seen. And he's pulling away slowly, and if he pulls away slowly enough, I'll have another shot at him. But this gun is hideously inaccurate, and the fact that I hit it straight the first time was a miracle. The chances of me putting a second shot through there were very slim indeed. As it happens, it missed, but I still managed to get a shot into him, and so that was that was good. But once again, they've all disappeared. And so, uh, I know roughly where they are. I know they're all there. At the moment, we're winning 5-3. And I can't see, although on the mini-map you can see to the left, there are, there are guys there. I cannot see them. They are out of my range. What I should probably do is let my... Uh, binoculars settle in on that area but I don't I can only see a little bit of him I can only see a little touch of him that's a stupid shot to make but what I should do is aim at this back window and hope that yes like that he moves backwards I fired a shot it appeared to go through that window the tank had disappeared I don't know if it will have gone through I fire a second one just in case he's still there but that one goes way over uh, as I've said before, this gun not immensely accurate. It's uh, it's an awful gun. It takes too long to load, and doesn't go where you want the shot to go. Still, we're winning six four, and uh, our tier six scout is pushing forward and has spotted the Churchill. Is he going to stick himself out? Yes, he is, and I've set him on fire. That's the second target I've brewed up. Other people are taking shots at him. Just make sure I get the kill, though. Just to make sure I get the kill, put a f another one into him. That's my second kill. Um, if you look just below me on the team list, you'll see uh, a guy in an SU-152 called Maletsky. Uh, he is about to start having an incredibly good game. He's got one kill so far. Keep an eye on uh, his kill tally. It's just gone up to two.
Don't shoot at what you can't see when you can see other targets. His kill tally's just gone up to three. He's just overtaken me. Oh, hello. My fellow uh, German piece of shit. Just put a nice round into him. He's going across the field as we speak now. Ballsy move. There's still a few too many of them left for me to want to try that. But he appears to be getting away with it. And I'm about ready, having seen him make it all the way across, I'm about ready to start making my way across. There's still plenty of cover between me and the enemy. I can still remain undetected. There's now not so much. The next time I fire, they're probably going to see me. There we go. He's just got kill number four. He killed the other version of me, the one that I put the round into. Now I'm through this cover. Now they can see me. But I've left him on low health. And uh, Malensky's just got kill number five. He's on for a top gun here, but he's just taken a big hit. So he needs to be careful. It's can he get the kill before he's killed himself? I can't see that Hellcat. Hellcat's on lower health. And there it is. He's just killed it and got himself a top gun. And moments later, he's killed himself. He got it just in time. Well done, mate. You did really well there. You went across the field when I wouldn't even dare do it. Um, some of those were ones that were left on low health. One of the which was by me, but I don't mind that. A top gun is a top gun, and he did damn well there. They've only got two tanks left. I thought for a second there our team were going for the cap circle, but they're playing it properly. KV-1S, I'll have that. And there it is, their artillery's taken out. <laughs> and that was a lovely game. Even though I spent most of it stationary behind a bush, that's how you play a tank destroyer. You find some cover, you preferably find something you can actually hide behind if you need to. Although in this case I didn't need to. Uh, they never came across and scouted us, so I just stayed in that bush and I fired on the enemy undetected and did putt loads of damage. How much damage? Well, let's go and have a look. So here we are on the uh, on the results page. Um, as you can see, I hit six tanks, killing three of them, um, and scouted a KV-1S. So, uh, not that many hits, but enough, but a, s a great amount of damage done for that. Um, I think from the looks of that, um, I fired eight shots that hit, hit the enemy. But it got myself um, over a thousand uh, XP, that is with premium of course. But it's not times two or anything. And I took no damage there. And got myself uh, just shy of 35,000 credits. So there'll be uh, a good amount left once I've paid my ammo bill at the end. Look at the team score. Uh, second place for me. You'll see there that uh, VK2801, he did all that scouting. And my god did he deserve uh, the place he got. Look at that, I'm in second place. I did 2,500 damage. He done 344. And he gets more XP than me. That's because if you looked at it, he'll have had so much um, spotting damage. He'll have got most of the spotting damage on the damage I've done alone, um, let alone other things. He scouted absolutely beautifully there. Passive scouting didn't um, reveal himself, allowed me to shoot at everything. And so he fully deserved, he took the risk. Because it was no risk for me. I was in a bush at the back shooting. I was more or less artillery. 
I was shooting people that couldn't see me, and they couldn't see me because he'd done his job so well. That is how you passive scout, and he fully deserves to be at the top there um, with the amount of XP he got. I'm not even slightly bitter about that. Um, we've got our uh, little SU-152 there in third place, uh, having got his top gun, fully deserved. Uh, anyway, looking at the detailed reports, um, 513, as I said before, eight of them hit, all eight of those penned. Um, some of them were fired blind, so the fact that they missed isn't a problem. Uh, nearly two and a half thousand uh, damage done. I was not hit at all, I was not spotted at all. Uh, well, I might have been spotted, I don't know, but nothing came my way. Um, I spotted one enemy myself, not sure how I managed to do that. Um, damaged six, killed three of them. Fabulous game. Really enjoyed that. And uh, normally that would be the end of uh, this, the results. But I had another game in this tank on El Haluf. Um, and this is the perfect sort of tank for El Haluf. And it was an amazing game. Um, started off on the side, shooting the enemies across, had myself some cover, had myself something to hide behind, a perfect position. Towards the end of the game, I had to... Uh, I had to go down into the valley and up the other side. Uh, I managed to shoot something there. And then I had to sacrifice myself in order to let the enemy get round and kill the last tank. Um, it was an amazing game. However, <coughs> World of Tanks being what it was, decided not to record the game. I did, however, get the results page for that. So I'm going to show that now instead. And there it is. Uh times two f for the first win of the day um, but if you look at it without premium there will be uh, 2160 so those of you good at maths will know that half of that will be uh, 1080 so my base experience was over a thousand to begin with so you know it was a good game um, two kills um, hit five tanks in total actually hit the comet but I managed to bounce the shot um, brilliant game and bloody World of Tanks decided not to record it you look at the uh, the uh, yeah mastery badge first class I was just shy of getting um, the ace tanker on it and uh, and absolutely fuming at that because with a game that good I would definitely want to show you the replay uh, looking at the team score I'm there at the top as I said I had to sacrifice myself in the end um, I believe it was the FCM 50T that actually got round and got the kill because uh, I'd uh, put myself in the way. Um, I'm not 100% sure on that now. I'd love to be able to look at the replay and tell you, but I don't have the replay available. It's the one time... Uh, I've heard this happen to Jingles before. He's had an amazing game and then the replay just isn't there same things happened to me here and I'm sure it's happened to me in the past but this is I was just so gutted about this one I hate this tank and yet I have an amazing game in it and uh, it's not there for the world to see anyway onto the detailed report fired 18 times only three of those missed and of the 15 that did hit only one of them failed to pen look at that 2600 exactly on the damage I was hit once I was penned once, and it killed me. I didn't have a choice, though. Um, if I wanted to win that match, I needed to sacrifice myself. Potential damage received, 400. <laughs> it killed me, what can I say? Um, spotted one enemy, uh, damaged five, destroyed two. And also got myself uh, nearly 1,500 spotting damage. So, um, brilliant game for me. Distance travelled, um, 1.24 kilometres. But what you've got to remember about that is all of that happened at the end of the match. <laughs> for most of the match, I sat on the side shooting at the enemy. Anyone stupid enough to show themselves, I would snipe them or miss them because this tank isn't amazingly accurate and there were several shots that missed. Um, anyway, 
I hope you enjoyed the game I did show you. I wish I could have shown you this one. It was a great game. Um, I will catch you next time. And uh, keep living the dream. Bye.